What's going on, Leo? Welcome back to Jewelry Box Hero with your girl Empress Gem. I'm here to drop some jewels. This will be your May monthly check-in for the sign of Leo. Leo placements, general message, guys. Take what's for you, leave us behind, flip a switcher how you need to do it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So let's see what we have here. Divine Holy Spirit, what do we have for Leo placements for? Oh, all my information is in the description box below. But let's see, what do we have here? The Leo placements for May 2023. I heard It Ain't Over Till It's Over by Lenny Kravitz started playing in my head. So there is some sort of cycle <laughs> that is not complete here. Whether you feel this way, um, someone else feels the way this way, or it's just like, you know, actual factual in the universe here. But there is um, some sort of contract that's not over yet, Leo. So let's see. What do we have here? Oh. Yeah, something that you invested in could be uh, cancer here, something that could have happened in July, okay? You could have released someone from your past, okay? Someone that you might have kids with. There may be a tower taking place or something like that, okay? Yeah, heartbreak could have been third party. I've seen the Queen of Wands, Leo, that could be you, okay? No longer wanting to fight, yeah, against this Empress here. We just saw the Emperor, so there could be literally a third party energy here. That you're just letting go now because you're going after your empress so let's see or your emperor take it how you need it but let's see what do we have here for leo for may 2023 all right leo let's get into this yeah that was the truth everything i said is the truth there's a cycle that's incomplete 144 as i said that where um it's either you feel this way this person feels this way or literally it's just written in the stars that this is not over um, as much as you or the other person may feel that it's over, it may not be over. Like, it's really, it's not even that it may not. <clears throat> okay. It's more that it is, it's over. Like, it's not over. Like, it's like, get that mind, thought out your head that you'll never see this person again. You'll never talk to this person. But no, like, I feel that this, this energy is coming back around here. Yeah, the thing is, somebody has to stop being a player here. Okay, someone has to stop um, being iffy in their decision. Somebody has to make a decision. We got Gemini energy here. Okay, mercurial energy. Um, somebody has to also be cautious of whether or not they're going to make this return or move in during Mercury retrograde because, you know, most people don't take in contracts or deal with folks during Mercury retrograde, right? So somebody may actually wait until, like, Gemini season, which Mercury retrograde should be up or whatever. Somebody's going to wait possibly so that way they know that they're coming in with this clear honest communication they don't want you know somebody may be spiritual here may like you know actually operate and work off of these elements here you know be astrological with it and you know the other person knows or the universe is just like <clears throat> we're not going to really bring this back together too tight right now because we are in mercury retrograde and it's not we don't want this relationship to seem this way or again, this could literally be somebody just coming back wanting a second chance and it's up to you to decide because you may already have your emperor or empress waiting. And this could be that queen of wands or king of wands, whatever energy coming towards you. But either way, there's a decision that needs to be made that someone is not making because we also saw that three of three of swords, which means somebody is definitely doing that third party thing and somebody needs to let someone go and they're not making that choice. Honestly, it's the emperor code we had, or a masculine energy code we had, the queen of wands and the empress. We had two feminines and a masculine. So there's a masculine who needs to make an honest decision here to let someone go so that they can move on with their empress here. Yep, here we go, two of wands. There's that decision there, Leo, that is Aries energy. And the thing is, underneath it all, it's like it's having a hard time detaching, walking away, okay, letting something go. There could be some sort of emotional tie here. There could be some sort of history um, anywhere between like two to eight years that you've been dealing with someone. Okay, I'm really getting six years more specific for somebody. But it's like you're not ready to really walk away even though it's time to do so, okay? It's time to let go, leave this old relationship in the past here and move towards something new. But there's this energy of having a hard time doing this here. Yeah, see, you know that you was dealing with a karmic energy in the past, this Queen of Wands, okay? She's come out in reverse. She's showed up as her karmic self, okay? This is someone who either could have used her looks or whatever to, like, get what she got, okay? Um, I heard her sex is bad. Him or her, it doesn't matter, okay? It's energy. But face card value, okay? I heard her sex is bad, like bad kitty. Somebody got a bad kitty or a bad penis or whatever, <laughs> But, um, I, I, like, it's just like you realize somebody, you know, 
I'm seeing somebody like a melting face. So it's like somebody's mask fell off and you realize like this person was actually the karmic. They weren't your empress or your emperor or whatever. And it's like, it's having this hard time detaching though right now because it's like, I feel like this energy has something on you, Leo, or on your person or something. And that's why it's hard for them to walk away. Like, like I said, there's a lot of attachment here. They've been dealing with this person for a minute. There could be some secrets or something. Or like there's no pinnacles out here, but I just feel like like this person has like there's this tie that, you know, is hard for you to break here. But you do realize that, you know, this is a karmic energy and this is not where you want to be or like who you're supposed to be with. Like this person for everybody, they for the streets, they're not just for you. OK, I mean, honestly, this could be the straw that breaks the camel back, you know, like you deciding to like move forward here because you realize that this person, you know, is for everybody. Yeah, Leo, here you are, still coming out happy and on top, okay, with your wishes being fulfilled, okay, blessings on blessings, but this is also that clarity right here in regards to this whole situation. You will make a decision, you will make the right decision, okay, and life will go on. Yeah, the death, you're going to end this situation regardless, you're going to go through this transformation, you're going to go through this rebirth. It's time for whoever you and your divine counterpart is to come together, regardless. Granted, it's hard for you to make this decision now, but it's going to come. And like I said, it may not happen right now in Taurus season. It may actually pop off more in Gemini season because of the Mercury retrograde. And, you know, you might be dealing with someone who's just like, look, if anybody come back to me, Mercury retrograde, I'm not dealing with them. Uh -uh, I don't want no past person. But I feel like this is a past energy here. And like the universe is just like trying to give this time here. You know, to get past certain um, astrological events here to make sure that this unit, unit, okay, this union comes in perfect unity at the perfect time, okay, without distraction. So this is your time, Leo. I say yes or no question. Oh, you came right out. And um, yeah, you could be dealing with an Aries or have Aries somewhere strongly aspecting your chart, you or your person, because Aries literally just got this card. Y'all saw me shuffle. But a change in the life of a true friend, okay? So yeah, you realize that somebody wasn't true and a person that you was dealing with that you probably aren't dealing with that you're going to more than likely choose from what it looks like because you're going to end something. You're not going to take the small shit here from this person. I feel like this Queen of Wands also act like she had a lot and she really had nothing to give. A pot to piss in or a window to throw out of it. So whatever. But yeah, your question, your answer to your question is yes, you have the numbers 8 and the number 922 here. But like I said, a change in the life of a true friend is your message. <laughs> Underneath the deck you have, you are missing many opportunities. Take advantage, okay? And then we have that number 20 right there and 6 and 9. <laughs> so June 20th, May 20th, June 6th. Um, June 9th could be of significance here, okay? The number 8 is like Scorpio energy. You do have Scorpio out here as well. You also have Aries, okay? So this has been your message, Leo. I really hope this has helped, okay? Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until the next time we speak, peace out.